Hi, welcome or welcome. No, welcome back to my channel. I like that one. Hi, this is Cammy. Welcome. If you're new, no, I'm using my channel. Welcome back or welcome to. No. Hi, this is Cammy. Welcome or welcome back to my luxury channel where I never edit or worry about thumbnails and lighting or fancy equipment. You get what you get. So if you're okay with that kind of thing, please subscribe, like, and stick around. What do you think? My new introduction? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> and I will credit that intro to the channel that I will link down below. Happy, happy new year to everybody. Everyone, especially my subs and my friends and everybody out there, I hope you had a wonderful, safe New Year's Eve. And I am filming New Year's Day in the morning, first video of 2024. And if you looked at my thumbnail, my very, very fancy schmancy thumbnail, I just want to show you that I added a couple of things to my vlog sale. I got a couple of things to cover. So if you, you know, if you like that kind of stuff and you're not doing anything and you're just, you know, relaxing this morning, get yourself a cup of coffee, you know, a couple of aspirin, maybe you have a hangover and watch my video. I just wanted to let you guys know um, that this is still for sale. I showed this on my other video. This is my YSL medium blue in asphalt color with silver kind of antique silver hardware i will put the names and the measurements the prices and my email down below if you're interested email me um, first come first serve i prefer to take met venmo i will take paypal but i prefer venmo because paypal charges way too way too many fees um, anyway, this bag is in almost, I'm not going to say perfect, most of my bags are perfect, but this one is in almost perfect condition because it lost structure on the top over here. And it seems to be a very common thing that happens with the camera bags. Uh, so many people have commented and messaged me saying that their bag, the same thing happened. So this is, you know, in, in fantastic condition. They're still selling for, I think, $1,670 now, $1,700. I am selling it for way, way below that price. So um, again, I'll put the price below. You could email me and please, I could only sell to people that live in the US. Shipping and all that kind of stuff is just way too expensive if it's international. So forgive me, I'm sorry, but only US residents and no returns. You could ask me a thousand questions. I will send you private, you know, photos of every angle, everything about it. This has the dust bag. It has, I believe I have the, um, um, the receipt also. I have everything that, that it came with. It has the tassel, which has been basically not used. It's, it's a beautiful bag, and I'll tell you the reason I'm, I'm getting rid of it. I used it frequently. I used it frequently. Um, there, there are really no marks. There are no marks on this bag. Like I said, it's just the structure. I, and this happened to my Gucci Soho Disco. The same thing at the top, not as severe. So, you know, I'm not sure. Um, it's not a removable strap, and it is adjustable. So again, I'll put the measurements down below and you can email me. I will gladly give you any information, more photos, whatever you would like to see. This is the side and the side. Okay, again, the front, the top is a little bit, you know, lost its structure here. I keep it um, stored like this with hopes to kind of keep the structure not to get, you know, worse, but whatever, you know, it, it is what it is. Like I said, um, there's not a thing wrong with it other than other than that. Uh, this is. Let me show you the the hardware again. Okay, so again, if you're interested, email me. I decided. Oh, the reason I'm selling that YSL is because 
I have the Balenciaga Mini City up for sale also. It's gray with silver hardware. And I really don't want to sell that bag. I don't care about the whole scandal thing. Every designer house has scandals, everybody. I'm just, put that, put that aside. I love that Balenciaga bag. I truly love it. I, I, I love it and I really don't want to sell it, but it was very expensive and I'm not using it. And every time I wanted something in gray to wear, I was grabbing the YSL. So I thought if I sell this, then I'm getting some money back. Um, not quite what I spent on it, but I'm getting money back and I could feel a little bit better about the Balenciaga and I'll grab that more often because it's, it's gray and I'll grab that. So that's why. Next, I am selling. Everybody was looking for this bag when I unboxed it because the price was um, too good to be true and it was a mistake. Neiman Marcus was selling this. They called it the flat pouch and they were selling it. Um, I don't remember the exact price, and I'll tell you why. I can't even find it in my account on Neiman because it was a mistake. They sent it to me. It was supposed to be the flat rock stud pouch, and they sent it to me for what the pouch was um, costing, which was quite a, a significant difference than this. This bag, which I only used like twice, literally, I still have the blue sticker here. I didn't take that protective sticker off yet. I used it like that. <laughs> it has a top handle that doesn't come off. I'll put all measurements of the drop, the strap. The strap is removable, but not adjustable. And it's about 20 and a half inches, which is not very, very long, but it works fine if you're um, very thin, narrow, um, short, petite, uh, you know, etc. and so on. So this is the Valentino. They called it on the tag, because I have the tag. The bag was $14.90 at the time. Now I'm seeing it everywhere for $1,500. It's still available everywhere. So it's not like it's discontinued or anything like that. So I know a couple of people tried to get it, and they ended up getting the flat pouch. I think I know Eva from Fuchsia Floyd and I'll put her channel down below. She ordered it thinking she was getting this and it didn't come. The flat pouch came and another um, subscriber did the same thing. Thought they were getting the this bag and it was the flat pouch. So Neiman made a mistake. They couldn't charge me more because that would be unethical. So I got this bag um, for almost half of what it should have been. So now they're still selling for $1,500. I am not selling it for $1,500. I am going to sell it for way under that. So if you like this bag, email me below and let me know. Again, first come, first serve and only in the U.S. and no returns. I have to stress, I'm not a store. I can't give returns. I, I can't, you know, do back and forth and money in my bank, no money in my bank. No, it's just... Again, you ask me a thousand questions. I will send you photos of every single inch. I am fully transparent. It's, you know, it is what it is. So th this is what the bag looks like. There's no marks on it. It's flawless. It's flawless. 100% flawless that I could see. I, there's no marks on it. It's absolutely beautiful. It has that pewter to black um, rock stud. It has that flip lock closure. It closes over here like this. I'll show you. It's very cute. It is small. Small capacity, but not tiny. I have the uh, seven. I have the seven plus iPhone. I'm going to show you that it goes right in. The opening, of course, is not the biggest, but the phone goes right in, no problem. The phone goes in. Um, I didn't bring anything else. I have. Um, sorry about that. My glasses. Ugh, loud. I'll see if this goes in. Also, full size eyeglasses case, and that goes into. 
and you can see there's plenty of room for more you could definitely fit a set of keys a lipstick and a card case with no problem with no problem it's a gorgeous bag why am I selling it if you've been following me you know why I'm selling it I just bought the little barrel same exact style the same rock stud same color the same everything i don't need to i'm not going to grab i'm not going to grab for this one i mean i'm not going to say i'm not going to grab for it because i really do like it but i don't need to i don't need to waste my money that way i, I just can't here's the original price tag by the way i don't know if that's upside down anyway so let me know in the comment section, if you're interested, email me. I'll throw both on so you can see. I wore a light shirt and light pants just so you can see. I'm 5'1 for reference, pretty small framed. And this is how it fits on me. Again, the strap is approximately 20 and a half inch drop on the shoulder, on the um, uh, crossbody. It's adorable. It really is adorable. I'll show you quickly. I didn't show you how the YSL fits. This one's adjustable, but not removable. And I have this on the... Um, actually the shortest so there's a one two three four five more adjustments five more holes i have this on the shortest right now so all right uh what else this is a little bit different but i have to you know hey why not why not i have this absolutely gorgeous north face jacket in gray this is that, uh, what is it, the five, the 550 or whatever that is? I'm not sure. Um, I wore it once. Once. When I bought this jacket, let me show you it. It was a slight bit tight on me across the chest. And I'm very petite. I'm 5'1". I'm like 110 pounds. My chest is 36B. And this is the small. And I should have gotten the medium. But I didn't want the medium because it might have been too long on my arms. Right? So I chose the small because I didn't want it to be too long on, you know, on the body either. But it's a little bit too tight on me. It's a little too tight. Um, I'm not very tiny up here. I'm not. I'm a 36B across the back, my shoulders. I'm not really skinny petite the way I appear. So it's been hanging in my closet for probably five, six years. I don't even know how long, honestly. Unused. Like I said, wore it once. I could zipper it, but it, then it's kind of tight to sit. Let me show you, just, you know, for the hell of it. It closes, it does, but driving in it, I feel like it's too tight here. I paid almost $300 for this jacket. Maybe, I don't remember exactly, maybe $275, 280 I don't remember what they were going for back then. I bought it in... I think it was in the uh, North, not, not, not Nordstrom. I bought it in my, my local mall in, I think, a North Face store at the time. Again, it's gray. It's gorgeous. It has two pockets here. It's extremely warm. If you know North Face, you know. Um, like I said, the hood is detachable. It's a beautiful gray, beautiful gray color. I don't know what to do with it. It's a very expensive jacket. Very expensive jacket. 
coat. I don't know what to do. Look. Very, very expensive. Um, I donate a ton of clothing constantly to charity. I donate money constantly. Um, I, I'm always donating. I can't donate that jacket because that jacket is extremely expensive. I don't know what they're going for now. You know, it's like the old season. Doesn't look old, but I, I need to. I need to get rid of it. So I'm going to try and sell it. If you're interested, again, email me down below. We'll talk about the fit. I'll do all you know measurements that you need to know. Because again, I'm five one. I'm a thirty six B. And I'm not extremely thin on top. If you're very thin and petite and very small boned, then the small would be perfect for you. I really need a medium up here. I know I don't appear that way, but I do. I need a medium. I'm a little bit busty. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm selling that North, North Face beautiful, unused, perfect condition, not a thread out of place jacket um i don't know what i should sell it for i have no idea we'll talk price in the email if you're interested and uh that's pretty much what i have today i want to tell you guys that i just um i have some wish list stuff you know like i'm i'm, I'm not sure i'm perfectly happy yet with my denim bag collection you know, I want to have that denim purse piece because I don't want to keep buying denim bags. They're really not durable. They're really not worth the money they're being sold for. Um, I, I'm, I'm debating on that whole new Louis Vuitton release, so stay tuned about that one. I don't know if that would be absolutely uh, stupid um, on my part to spend that kind of money um, on their little tiny nothing denim bags. Um, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. You'll have to stay tuned and subscribe and come back. Um, I really, I'm still loving that Bottega little denim bucket, but 1700, not doing it, not doing it. So look out for that if you find it under, way under 1700. I don't even think I would go more than maybe a thousand for that bag i don't even know um but i i want that and i'm also really interested in the chloe mini marcy you know that denim if you're following me you saw me open that ridiculously uh weird chloe mini marcy in the denim no but i really do like it in the blue leather they have what's called a denim color in the blue leather i always liked chloe i always liked the mini marcy so you know I, i'm thinking of that and you know i'm still uh i still want that jimmy choo bag back i really do i'd like to find it again for a decent price under a thousand it has to be and not all warped and lumpy and scratched and disgusting um so if you see a jimmy choo that my gold tote check that unboxing out if you see one give me a buzz let me know what else am I looking for? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I, I think that pretty much covers it. That Chloe Mini Marcy is $18.90. Not paying for that either because those you see on sale all the time. All the time. So I'd like to, you know, get under thirteen or twelve hundred for that, um, if I can. So, you know, that that's pretty much my wish list. I have something else coming that was kind of a spontaneous purchase so we'll we'll see um if i'm going to keep that i'm not quite sure um i have to see it i don't know if i'm going to unbox it or i'm going to look at it first because you know the whole you know unbox return blah 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 i don't want to tick anybody off so <laughs> anyway have a wonderful new year's day and i will see you soon take care